Focus. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Ryan's Live Life. Today we're gonna go over what I have with me on every show, whether it's a corporate show, live band, install, if I'm just a stagehand, system tech, monitor engineer, front of house engineer. Any show I do, I carry one case with me no matter what, and that is this guy right here. It is a Pelican 1510 case, and you can call it my gig bag, if you will. It goes with me everywhere, even when I'm not working. So today we are actually getting prepped up for a show coming up this next week, and I'm taking the opportunity to finally take my Pelican and go through the Pelican, take all of the summer gear out of it, and replace it with any other winter essentials. And I thought it'd be a good chance to take you guys through what I use and what I carry with me on every show. We're just gonna start diving in and see what we find. We'll start with everything over on this side. First up, gloves. Work gloves are a must have for everybody on any show ever. Headphones, nothing special. Just a pair of sure headphones. Good to have for any audio engineer on the go. I don't mix with these on, but I do use them for soloing or double checking to make sure that I have everything prior to the start of a live band. Tape, all kinds of it, and there's never enough. Uh, I've got everything from gaff tape on here, which is getting dangerously low, to frog tape, more spike gaff tape, console tape, and painter's tape. So essential, every show, it, this comes out at some point in time. And look at this, freaking safety cable for a lighting fixture. Hold them all in one nice, neat place, and if you need to take one off, you can. So look at that. Fun tips. All right, we've got a flashlight um, and a flashlight holder. So put this onto my belt every show. We've got a flashlight. This one happens to be rechargeable. Oh, that's not the button. That's the button. Oh, look at that. It's dead. Awesome. Way to go, Ryan. So flashlight, super awesome thing to have on any show. I use it. All the time when it's not dead. All right, we have two cables here. We have just a standard XLR to XLR. This is what I use uh, for my talkback mic. So it's like five, six feet long, uh, nothing special. This is what I use for connecting my talkback mic to a console. Next up is this XLR female to quarter inch male plug, uh, TRS quarter inch male. These are a lifesaver on shows when you have a direct box and you have no way to test the signal. So you just plug any microphone into the XLR, quarter inch into the DI, and hopefully you can see signal. If not, then best of luck to you. Next up, we have a fancy little Crown Royal bag. So nothing in it at the moment, but if you are in the industry, you know that these little puppies are like gold. You know, you can use them for anything from just holding microphone, microphone clips. Um, lots of people use them to wrap around snake fantails uh, to keep the XLRs nice and tidy. All right. This right here, this, I don't know. I don't know, that's, that's something from a microphone or something, so we don't want that in there. All right, let's start diving into these bags. So, first up, is the Audio Tools bag. This has all kinds of goodies in it. I carry with me at all times a cable tester with all kinds of different connections on it. What else we got in here? And, oh, an SPL meter. Uh, so, Audio Tools bag, check. Random little cables and zip ties. Kind of a random combination. I don't know. Um, it is just that. We've got everything from, all, we got everything. We got everything in here. Anything you want. There's just all kinds of stuff. We got like IEC cables for lights, um, HDMI cables, USB extenders. You know, this is just full of random stuff. I'm not gonna go through it all because that would just take forever. And then for those of you who don't know what zip ties are, there you go. Random little cables and zip ties. 
check. This right here, always with me. Oh, let's figure out how to work a zipper here, Ryan. It is a Sennheiser E935 vocal microphone. Look at that. Look at that sweet blue. That is magic right there. I love these microphones. They are what I use whenever I can as a vocal mic. You know, I, I love SM58s and all the other standards, but these mics right here, I just, for my ears, they work. So, there you go. All right, boom, what's this? AC tools, look at that. All right, AC tools. This has my essentials in here for AC use. So this is just a simple outlet tester. Fun little diagram on there to show you what it all means. And it's just a good, Quick tool, I would not use these exclusively to test your power, but it's a good quick way to make sure that something obvious is not wrong. All right, non-contact voltage detector. So this is pretty straightforward. You can use it to check to make sure that there is power or is not power uh, on, on a device without touching it. So if you are going to work on an outlet or something, or there's something wrong, and you need to make sure that there's not any power to it so you don't die, one of these little guys. Hover it around, and if it beeps crazily, then probably shouldn't touch it. Next up, multimeter, digital multimeter. At that, this has your conventional two wires here for testing, but it also has the wraparound to go around each of your hots. If you're wanting to measure how many amps you're drawing, stuff like that. So everybody should have one of these. Even if you're not in the event production industry, these are just nice to have around the house if you know how to use them so you don't like blow something up. So yeah. All right. So this is like the least exciting thing in here to end off the AC tools bag, but it is essentially a turn spade, 20 amp. So the ones that have the little, the little dash in there, this goes to a regular Edison. So, well, I don't like to use tools like this that convert stuff like that. They are handy to have. Your in a pinch, stuff like that is pretty good to have. All right, let's throw this crap back in here. I probably can't fit it back in. Work with me. Come on. Here we go. AC tools, check. Adapters and barrels. Oh, focus, Ryan, focus. Oh dear, oh dear, oh. Adapters and barrels. There we are. So, this is one of my favorite bags. Look at that. All that orange in there. It's like, matches my hair. All right, this is one of my favorite bags and most used bags in my entire Pelican because it has everything from XLR male to male, female to female, turnarounds, couplers. I got a couple of uh, like, like iPod cables in here, uh, and all of them were custom made by me. So I was able to make the length I wanted, how many of them I wanted, all that fun stuff. So this is essentially a bag that, if you need to connect two things together that don't have corresponding connectors, this is the bag I go to to hopefully make it all work. And there's also things in here like we got some speak on NL4 couplers to connect a couple of speaker cables together. So. Super exciting adapters and barrels. Check. All right, less exciting mic clips. Well, it might seem less exciting, super essential to have because I don't know how many shows I've been on where something as simple as a microphone clip has delayed things by way too long. You know, so it's just good to have a few extra. This is a kind of a unique little deal. You can. Clap it onto a drum and then put a mic clip on that. So like for snare drum and stuff like that. Just something different to have. And then I just got a couple of standard mic clips in there. Mic clips, check. All right, next up we have some Allen wrenches. Everybody knows what those are. I picked up a few of these little, kind of like Swiss Army knife kind of ones at a hardware store for like five bucks, like the whole pack. We got uh, both metric and US, and there's a couple of the hex head versions in there as well. So pretty cool little setup. 
comes in handy. They have definitely saved the day on multiple occasions. Next up, we have a little fancy rock kit thing from good friends at Digico. Everybody likes that, right? It's got all kinds of fun stuff on here. We've got um, a bottle opener, a cell phone stand, because that's, that's what we need. A uh, can opener, screwdriver apparently, letter opener for all those times you get mail randomly and during a show. Pretty cool. All right, so I just kinda, I just keep that in there with uh, all the Allen wrenches because it seems like the most logical place to put that. All right, moving on. Boom, Whirlwind IMP2 direct box. Kind of like having a nice microphone with you, having a DI box, doesn't have to be even a really fancy one, just having one along, it's gonna save the day. It's just one of those tools that like, when you need just that one more, boom, you can be the guy or girl that's like, I got it. I got it, everybody. Whirlwind IMP2 direct box. Moving on. All right, screwdriver set. Straight up, it's got all kinds of fun stuff in there. Hex heads, Phillips, flatheads. It's even got a socket set in there. This thing right here has saved the day massively on multiple occasions. There's been shows that we've had to mount the projector to some trussing and the rental company didn't send the wrenches with the bolts. So I was like, hold up, I got some. And they worked like a charm, so. Cool. The last thing in the bottom here, and last but not least, is a little, little light. It's just uh, good to have an extra one of these along if the one on your console dies, or you know, you needed an extra one or something, you got an extra one along. So. Little light. Oh look, what's this? Ah, hiding. Talkback mic, essential. If you're doing monitors or front of house, you, you need to have your own talkback mic. It's just, you, you have to. Hopefully the company or whatever band you're working for uh, has one for you, but uh, honestly, that's usually not the case. So having your own, with a switch, by the way, you need one with the switch on it because it's going to make your life so much easier. So, all right. Now, bottom is all cleared out. It's time to flip things around and show you what's hiding up here. All right, so we're gonna work left to right, top to bottom. So up here we've got our handy dandy battery pouch. We got a few in there and then a couple laying around in there. You gotta have batteries. I don't know how many times I've had an acoustic guitar player play the guitar and it comes out distorted and they're like freaking out and they're like, what did you do? Well, have you changed your battery recently? And they're like, my guitar has a battery? I say yes, they do. Here's one. Thank you. Good night. Also in here are some Velcro cable tie dealios. So super cheap. I love using these uh, instead of zip ties. Um, if I'm trying to like dress a cable to a stand to make it look nice and pretty, since you don't have to you know throw them away and clip them off at the end of the night. So cool to have. Next up, this is kind of a mod podge of a pocket. Altoids in here, you know, these are awesome to have on shows. It's, it's just good for all of us, so. Gold Bond, everybody likes Gold Bond. Baby powder, whatever you wanna use. Definitely an essential in the summer season. What is it, like like the like Gold Bond? No pain, no gain. Oh, wait, no, that's definitely Icy Hot, I think. I don't know. You know the slogan for Gold Bond? Put it in the comments. Moving on, earplugs. Your plugs are a must, not only for yourself, but if you are doing a show and somebody comes up to you and maybe they're complaining about the noise or you see a little kid and they're like holding their ears like this because it like hurts, it's good to have a couple of these on hand that we can give them a pair so they're not suffering the whole night. So, thinking of others. All right, look at this high-tech tool right here. This is just straight up cardboard. That's all it is, the little shims, so say like, subwoofer or a speaker is like slightly tilted for some strange reason, like it's on like a, a slope or you know the, the floor dips down, 
slip one of these under the legs if you need to fold it to make it more of a steep slope and you got it you know it's just something that i've used on many occasions cardboard this is a bag this is just a bag you can't have to, it's, it's just a bag if you need a bag yeah i got one right here right here okay a little like, you know microfiber cleaning cloth thing you know these are cool to have if you have a video camera on the show and like maybe they their lens is dirty and they don't have one of these you can be like hey right over here Whew. got it all right boom a little charger pack thing these are cool hopefully your show's got good power and you can plug your phone into the wall if you need to but if you're moving around a lot and you don't want to set your phone down these are pretty cool that might be broken. All right, let's go to this one next. So it's kind of my tool slot right here. I've got not one, but two sea wrenches. All right, this one, whoosh. oh, hit myself. It's got a little string attached to it with a carabiner on the end. If you are rigging or elevated in any way, or even if you're not elevated, have this connected to you. If it falls, it's right there, and you can just pick it back up and move on with your day. And, like I said, I have two of them in here because if you're on a show and you need a sea wrench, you will need two sea wrenches because chances are that somebody that should have a sea wrench does not have one, and you can come rolling up with your extra one and be like, it's okay, I got you. Ah, here we go, multi-tool, so, you know, Everybody's got one of these. I don't have a fancy little belt loop for it, but someday when I grow up, maybe I'll get one. All right, Sharpies. My favorite and probably most used item in this Pelican are Sharpies in conjunction with tape, I should say. We've got all kinds of Sharpies, black, gold, silver, forest green. I just made up the forest part. It's probably not forest green. Big old Sharpie, two big old Sharpies. Look at that. Got some pens, pencils, stuff like that. You'll notice that on my Sharpies, not, not all of them, but most of them are labeled with my name because I can't tell you how many Sharpies have walked off in my time in the event production industry. Now, these things are like not that cheap. So I've started throwing a little of that neon green yellow gaff tape on them and writing my name on them because they're my Sharpies, so. Zip it up. Okay, so this little decorative pocket. Um, we got a couple of buttons and some cool stuff on there. We've got to represent. So popping that up. We got matches. We've got two matches. We've got a cigar cutter for cutting cigars, I guess. I'll probably slide this in so it's not like in my face all the time. There we go. We're all learning. Okay, we've got a bottle opener slash wine cork puller. Surprisingly, I have actually used this. You know, it, I did not use it personally for my own fun, but I have provided it to others. So I guess it's proved itself useful. All right, moving up. Oh yeah, a little Swiss pocket knife. Useful, no doubt. We've got some other personal stuff in here, business cards, check that out. You know, we've got some lip balm. You know, this is more of just kind of like, kind of my own little personal fun little pocket, you know, all this stuff stays in here all the time. So just little things, you know, remind you at home, because when you're on the road a lot, you definitely need a little boost every now and again. So this is my little boost pocket. My little boost. All right. All right, is that it? I think that's pretty much it. All right, everybody, so that is what's in my Pelican. This thing goes with me everywhere, all the time. A lot of times it's just in my car, ready to go. And after a crazy show, I'll take everything out and repack it all in there nice and neat. So that way when I go back out on the road with it, everything is where it's supposed to be. So yeah, anyway, that's just a quick look into what I take with me on shows. And if you have any questions or if I 
missed something or didn't elaborate on something that you want me to elaborate more on, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're there, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell button. And that way, when new content comes out here on Ryan's Live Life, you can be the first to know. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of Ryan's Live Life. What is in my gig bag? And I'm excited to see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,